So hi, Don. Hello there, Matt. How are you, huh? Don't be a fuddy duddy. <laughs> so we think we know why the flaps may have failed. What do you think, buddy? I don't know. Pretty sad. You be the judge. That's why they, if we had a little piece of sandpaper, we could just polish. You can see a shiny spot on it. See in the foam? Mm -hmm. Where that goes right there. And that is exactly where it sticks, right there. If you hit it. Come down. Hmm. Here, watch. Watch your fingers. You gonna sand your finger on? Yeah. Just a little bit of emery cloth there on it. Just to kind of polish it. What's that bracket made out of aluminum? Um, yeah. This is aluminum. Damn it. Do you want to just remove the flap? No, hell no, God. That's a job. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a... It looks fairly easy to me, but yeah, I haven't ever done it. It ain't. Believe me. Let me come back some more. Try, try that. Nope, it's still sticking. If I smack it, it'll come loose. Well, you don't even need to smack it. Let me, let me uh, see if if I could get a rotary file, but I can't get in there. To... No, there's no way to. Mm -hmm. Let me. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I can kind of polish that edge a little bit. Up. 
There, we've removed the paint. I'm gonna get a real close look at that, go slow. So you see where we sanded the paint off of there. And can you get it to stick now? It won't stick now. Yeah, it will. You hit it hard enough. Well, let's sand it a little more. A little sandpaper goes a long way. All we did was sand the paint off of it. Mm -hmm. That was it. Uh, All you gotta do is touch it. Yeah. Which that should be enough with the air on it. Oops. What'd you do now? I hung my britches on it. Oh, don't do that. see into there there's still a little bit of paint but uh, we've got almost all of that paint out of there if you jam it in there she still tries to hold tight do we need to do the other side or does it still feel like it's this one right here oh. this one I don't mind. I'll sand on it just a little bit more. Well, there's our wing headed back to the airport. Already be painted. Still some assembly tank. I'll have to go back in it. Pedo, air vent, and uh, stall horn. Of course, the tank cover and whatnot. But uh, we got to get those skins painted back and touch up anything else that needs painted and uh, she'll be ready to go on the aircraft telling stories he needed his eyes checked a long time ago I think. <laughs> How tight are these supposed to be Dan? So what time is it? No, how tight are these supposed oh. to be? Do these have a torque specification? You're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> You'll yell at me if we get it wrong. Tell you we found out why the flaps hung? No. There's paint in the track. And uh, as that track closed up at the very end and the roller went down through it, it wedged the roller into that space that was narrowed down. I'll make a video and I'll show you. Huh. And uh, well, me and Dan, me and Don was fooling around with it. We just happened to take the flap loose and uh, move it up out of the way. And when we stuck it back to 40 degrees, when we flipped the wing, it hung. And we had to like, kind of smack it to get it to knock loose. So it took a little investigation, but we found all that paint inside the track. I wouldn't have thought, you'd, I'd have thought I'd have found that a long time ago. But, apparently, you know, it's not something we used all the time, so, that day, for whatever reason, maybe wind, temperature, holding your tongue just right or something, and it stuck. <laughs> it didn't have enough power to overcome it. 
<laughs> it was just a Dan Grider thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the luck of the draw, I guess. You know, I sanded on it just a little bit to, to scour the paint off of it and uh, freed it right up. It almost seemed too easy. That would come under probable cause. Yeah. <laughs> know that I want to get started with <laughs> trying to figure somebody else's probable cause out. And I can't guarantee 100% that that's why it did it, but it obviously would have played a role in it. You know? Yeah. So, and the FAA didn't find it. The guy that was there from Textron didn't find it. We didn't find it for the longest time. We had to disconnect the little, uh, what's that rod called? The control rod, I guess what it's called and once you could move it by hand then instead of a gear driven motor you realize when it got stiff I was telling Dan we found uh, why the flap stuck yeah now there, there's here, here's some of the baffles they're upstairs I don't think so uh -huh. I'm just up there ah. Oh, did I bring them down? No, I should hide them. We can stick them in the loft again or up on the thing up there on the Cali. We should start doing that, hiding his tools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop hiding your tools. No, you don't need to. I can't find half of them out at the time. No. <laughs> This is one of the inner cylinders. Why is there a next hose clamp? What are, what are, don't ask. Don't ask, don't tell. Did you dig it out just in case? I don't know. Maybe it's to put around your lips. Come here. Crank that dude down. <laughs> 